What comes to your mind when you think of Nepal? Culture, landscape, mountains. But do you know there is much more to Nepal than this? Nepal has serious issues that are shaking the very foundation of the country. These core problems are leading to even bigger issues that are affecting Nepal's future. Nepal has a population of about 24 million and about 60% of them are youth. Because of the current state of the country, many youth are feeling frustrated, confused, desperate, and angry. And many of them leave. But times of crisis are the times of greatest opportunities. Chains Fuse Nepal, founded September 2008. Chains Fuse Nepal supports young Nepalese with the most innovative ideas to solve social and environmental problems with mentorship, knowledge, funding, and networking so their dreams may be turned into reality. In December 2008, Chains Vision Nepal held a competition to select the most promising young social innovators. All of these young people were full of ideas, energy, and passion, but they lacked the skills and resources. So, Chains Fusion Nepal organized a capacity building workshop for them where different experts gave them training necessary for their ventures. After months of training, they were ready to start on their ventures. Chains Fusion Nepal started raising funds locally and within a month raised $7,000 which allowed the funding of the initial stages of the three selected ventures. For six years, I have been sheltering the children of inmates. All of the expenses were being covered through donations. With the initial funding I received from Chains Fusion Nepal, I trained inmates to make Nepali handicraft and raise about $600. I can now sustain some of the basic costs of running this center. I hope in the future that I can cover all the costs like educating and feeding the children through my venture. I am a forestry student and I found that there is a remote poverty stricken area in Nepal called Bajra where the local soil cannot sustain any agriculture. Through my research, I found that there were an abundance of olive trees in the region. I want to start a venture by extracting oils from olives and training the local community in Bajura so they can sustain themselves through the olive market. I hope to reduce poverty and increase employment in Bajura. I always wanted to be independent, but as a wife and mother, it was not easy for me to start my own business. I was saddened by how the values of the culture were diminishing and traditional craftsmakers were losing their jobs. I was wondering how I could support them and preserve the culture. Now, with the financial support from Change Fusion Nepal, I have a small showroom called Newa Decor where we showcase and sell the works of traditional Newari craftsmakers. I'm not only saving my culture, I'm also fulfilling my lifelong dream of having my own business. Although these three innovators have made a start, they still need support as do the others. Everybody has something to contribute. It could be ideas, technical skills, network connections. But at the moment, the most important of all is financial support. 
Your financial support will act as seed money to help start these ventures. Anywhere from $100 to $100,000 can go a long way. Our journey has just started and we still have a long way to go. Come, let's walk together.